one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is a really nice little 1974 W114 Mercedes Benz it's a 280C and man I love a Mercedes Benz I guess I don't care which chassis or which model it is um, I don't care about the numbers letters or anything else I just like the cars now you get in an old classic coupe like this and I love them. There's just no two ways about it. Um, this is pre-smog, um, pre-VAT and MOT or whatever it is in Netherlands. Um, save you a bunch of money on that kind of stuff. Um, this is a beautifully preserved, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a two-owner car. I need to check my files. You can also check the eBay ad once it's up. Um, but beautiful car. You can tell it's got the obvious faded paint, a couple things in a couple areas. And I will go up close here in a second and show you any minor flaws or blemishes or anything like that on it. Um, it ain't perfect by any means, but it is a nice, clean, old, non-rusted out W114 coupe. Um, getting rare to find these in a coupe or a sedan. Um, nice cars. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And you can reach me anytime. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go around this car and show you any minor blemishes and such. My website is oneownercarguy.com and check that out and you can see about 70, 60 to 80 pictures of each car um, when I list them and such. Now I'm going to see how my low level light adjustment is on this camera. Not very good at all, is it? There we go, it finally kicked on and now it looks good and you can see everything. Um, not rusted out. You got a little patina where, like, you know, rock chips chip stuff off. But this is a super clean little car. I don't want to get out from under here now that it's adjusted to the light. Uh, now I'll get up and show you the rest. Oh, and it's take a second to adjust back. Now, this is a Nikon 1, is what the camera is, if you're wondering. I was going to get the next 5 in or the next 7. And I went with the Nikon 1 because it's what Costco had. So, coming down this side like I always do on them, this car is straight. And you can tell the paint is likely a little thin right in here. And um, right on that line maybe. Just beautiful though, still shines and all that. All the trim is in great condition. Straight as can be. I'm sure you'll find a ding somewhere, but Tell you the God honest truth, I can't see it on this side. I'm sure you find something though, my goodness. Nah, it's straight, man. Straight as can be. Now, coming across the hood, you can see the clear coat fade. That's a slightly different color. A little rougher, as the clear coat's checking and stuff. Same thing on the roof. I'm actually glad to be having back a camera in the shape of the next five. Um, I'm probably going to have to get used to filming it, so I'm sorry if I go in and out of frame or something. Now, your bumper ends, your rubber bumper ends on this bad boy are just nice as can be. That's all there is to it. Your lights, nice as can be. A few stress marks right there, just a few. Fog lights are in good shape. All your rubber bumper pieces are in great shape. See, that's what I'm talking about, where the paint might have came off and got a little patina on it. Little spots underneath the paint on that seam. Have fun! And your little rubber pieces here are almost perfect. Very rare to have them looking that good. Um, it's a nice little car. And bunt wheels, Mercedes bunt wheels. Same thing on this side, it looks great. God, I'm serious, it's just, my new cars have some dings and, oh, we got some dust on there. I'm here to tell you, it's a straight little car. And you can see the fading coming in right here. And on the trunk. Now, as far as dings, there's a few in the bumper there. 
Once again, rubber pieces, absolutely beautiful. I haven't even refurbished them or put any kind of armor all or anything on it. You do that to them, my goodness, they look amazing. I'm selling it as a light project car is what I'm doing. Same thing right there where the clear coat's coming off. It doesn't seem like the car has been painted. It may have been some paint work at some point, but I'll tell you, if they did, they sure did a good job because, yeah, man, it just looks factory. And there's no way I can guarantee, but window fits right and everything. Gets hard on these years for that. All your aluminums and or aluminum, um, chrome trim stuff is in great shape. Door hand, I mean, these things open and close perfectly, too. A um, little bit of uh, rubber seal right there is just a little shoot up. Well, I can't think of anything else to show you outside. Rubber seal around there is good. Everything, it's a nice, clean car. Let me show you in the trunk. This don't do the low level light adjustment like the Sony does. It's a little slower, but I'll tell you, once it gets it, it's pretty good. We still got the the washer fluid, I believe. Oh, here's the other only corrosion. There's some water sitting in that trough where that drain hole got plugged up. Solid as can be. Mercedes Benz belt in the car. Yeah, that light adjustment is a little different. It works, but. Oh, fire extinguisher rules. That ain't factory. And I don't think that is. This thing is tight, man. Clean car. It sounds good when it shuts. Once again, my name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. I hate gold on cars. But I'll tell you what, in a coupe like this, I like it. Um, and this color gold is kind of growing on me. Now I got a 71, 71? Yeah, 71 280 SE coupe, 3.5, coming in this week. So if that's the car of your choice, let me know. Check out my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure and subscribe. I get a lot of cool cars. I sell them cheap. I just like to be moving them. And I wanted to show you, there's a few stress marks on this lamp as well. Okay, that's around. Oh, I didn't show you underneath here. Low level light adjustment. going to take a second again. It's dark. I'm telling you, it's dark. There we go. No rust holes or nothing. Clean as can be. Show you the base of the tranny. Rest of the floor pans here. I'm pretty picky. I sell stuff to people who are a long ways away from me. I want you to see what you're getting, and I want you to know it's nice. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the camera under the car so we don't have to refocus, and I can show you from the back also as well. There we go. Super clean car. Which is very, very nice little car. Now, the interior. All right, do this again. Oh, they sound nice. I like how this model's doors open up at like, <laughs> that's as close to 90 degrees as it gets. Now it's got the custom made sheep school, sheep school? Sheepskin wool lambskin covers. Now I didn't have the heart to just take them off and fold them up because they're in such great shape. My mouth's getting dry, I need something to drink here. But the seats are in great shape too. So I loosened them up. Or I could throw that back there. Now let me get the hood. Also, okay. Try and get a a, a tab up here is what I need. I just got her attention. Cool, and it's coming. Ah, uh, the headliner is in great shape. Very nice up there. 
These seats are in great shape too. I didn't mean I met his brother. Yeah. Ooh, baby. This is the real stuff too, I'm telling you. Actual sacrament. Okay. A couple little stress marks on this. I think it's the factory carpet for there. No way to tell on a car pre-81, but I'll tell you, I don't believe it's got many more than that if it does. This piece is loose, um, and this is an extra floor mat. And I did not clean this one up this much. I'm selling it as a project. As you can see, I got a project car there, that van's kind of projecty. The brown one I'm trying to finish off, but I got a couple of little Fiat over here and a couple in there and, well, they're a little more projecty and this one is just, I want to do it myself, especially with the 71 280 SE coming. Well, now if I don't burp too much on you with my tab, tab's probably the best burps besides like Barg's root beer. Barg's root beer, that'll get you the Homer Simpson burps right there. Okay, beautiful. I mean, this is the kind of car where you can just drive around once you tinker with it. Um, beautiful car. Okay, get out of here now. Windows and glass is all in great shape. You can see the, oh, I'm hooked. And that, you just put all them back. You can see the custom cut for that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I hooked myself on the other one. Now, let's get these down to where you can see the back seats, which are in great shape. And you could tell they're a little looser, and there's not any tears or ribs. Um, you could just tell that the... Um, coconut husk they use underneath it is getting a little dried out. Power windows rear. Oh, carpet's in the back. There you can see some of the coconut husk coming out. And other than that, I'm going to show you under the hood. Take my tab with me. I can just look so retro, huh? Automobile Club member. On the passenger side, the door panel and everything's in great shape. Door panels, I'd say, are 95%. I mean, look at this. I hate to be the... I can't part this car out. Both of the pockets. That one's coming off right there because of the clip. You can see the clip right there. But they are not cracked, which is just awesome on this car. I mean, them pockets are worth a lot. I show you in there? A couple extra screws. Comes with it. Crack there. That piece is supposed to be like that. So that little crack right there is the only crack in the dash. I have not even put any kind of refurbishing stuff. It's dry as can be. Your light may be, yep, a little loose. The little lens piece is cracked. No holes or anything in the roof. I'll show you this side of the seat. You can see a little wear mark there. But no holes or punctures or anything. Um, on this side, you can see the stress marks. Now this is real leather. Um, I'm about, yeah, it's real leather. Hang on. Smell years of seat wear. It smells like leather. I'm 99.9% .9 that it's leather. I don't even know if that thing's ever been pulled up, man. <laughs> okay. I like to leave that down the way it should be. It's in really good shape. It's a nice car. Um, just needs to be tinkered with under the hood. Um, okay.
battery missing, of course. Not rusted, but anywhere where the paint chipped off, the tina-ish. Same thing there, like I didn't get, I didn't sand it down and spray it or nothing. Um, had a squirrel chewed all the ends of the wires off. So, now it is what it is. I either start putting new plug wires and coil wire and all this stuff, or I sell it as is, cheaply, make a great deal to you. I don't have time for all my projects. I got 250 cars. This is about 104 of them. So, one and a half times more of this. Your hood insulation is falling down. I wish I had a good instant, uh, connection to buy that stuff new. Yeah, that low level light adjustment really kicks in and looks great once it focuses. If you watch my channel much, you'll know I try to get right up and show everybody everything. But a good camera for me is very, very important. Look at even this stuff is just clean as can be back here. It's set around. Um, it has not been used a lot. Uh, and I'm thinking it was a one owner in my notes. I just gotta check. Small little rub mark right there. Man, that's about, oh, this piece missing on the grill. Hood ornament missing. This has got the cool one too with the big bevel around it. It also had a um, button right there, I believe. Well, that's a once around, that's a twice around, that's a three time around. That's all around this little W114-280C. If you're looking for one of these, give me a call. Nathan, 406-544-6919. And this ain't some big high price thing. This is something you can afford to work on, keep around. You tinker around for the weekend, you'll have this thing fired up and going. Um, it cranks and all. It's just needing wires. and I could put a couple hundred, you know, two, three hundred bucks into parts. and couple hundred bucks into my mechanic because I don't have time to do it all myself. Next thing you know, I'm five, six hundred bucks more and I'll probably replace a couple more things along the way. So I'm just selling it before I do much more. That's about all I can tell you. www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out and you can subscribe on my channel here. Um, I've got about 650 videos on here. All kinds of unique, classic, Euro, muscle and just awesome antique cool old stuff low one and two owner cars I love a one and two owner car they're always cleaner and better maintained and and that's all I know I'm doing another round around this bad boy to make sure there wasn't anything I sure love the way that car looks just want to make sure there wasn't anything else I could tell you I can tell you that this video camera is gonna limit me to 20 minutes and in doing so I'm gonna be having to clip them together sometimes when I'm doing test drives. Obvious, I won't be doing a test drive on this one, but that's the once around, the twice around, the all around round. Any port in the world, I will import, export this right to you. No problem. Nathan, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out some of my other videos. Lots of cool Mercedes. I, got, I do a lot of Mercedes. That's about it. Nothing else I can tell you about it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk.